Hi everyone, it's Debbie and today I wanted to share with you a technique that I use to color um, coloring book pages and of course you can find these coloring book pages all over the internet. I find a lot of them in Google Images and there's a huge selection and usually I take them into my program Corel Draw and convert them to SVG files and then bring them in to color them but I know not everyone has a program like this so the great news is and this was shared by Kay from Clever Someday WordPress.com. Um, she shared this program. She shares a lot of really neat things that she finds, and um, this one is called Rapid Resizer. So I'm going to hop on here to the internet and show you all how you use this program. Okay, first of all, I have it open, and I will put the um, link to this on my blog. But it is online.rapidresizer.com backslash tracer.php. So anyway, we'll get right here. I'm going to choose a file. And I'm going to go to Butterfly in the coloring page. Because I've already done this. And I want to make sure that outline is checked. And then I'm going to go to SVG because I want it to convert it to an SVG. And then you just click trace and it takes just a little bit while it's loading while it's doing the work to to make this in our SVG file okay once that pops up all you have to do is right click and go save as and save it to your desktop or in a certain file that you may have but just save it so you can open it up in just a little bit right here in studio software so I've already opened this and now I'm going to select this because it's all grouped together and ungroup and then when I do this I'm going to click over here to the far side and you'll see this great big white square all of them will have one of these and you want to get rid of this so we just drag it over and hit delete now I'm going to start clicking on stars holding down the shift key because so far these are all separated and now that I have those selected I can just hop over here and I'll select a golden color and then I can go here but now look when I click on this you can see other things are selected so what I want to do now is I want to right click and just release my compound path and that one's separate that piece is grouped so I want to write oops it's grouped with something because I see the large square and I'm just going to go release compound path because this gives me the ability to fill in all of these places separately with whatever color I want so and it will show you if it's all together because when you click on something you get the option to release the compound path I hope I explained that well so now these are all separate pieces but I can still select a couple of them together by holding down my shift key and we'll just make this this color here then I want to get select this little piece and I think this is connected still no I guess it's not okay so in this little piece and we'll just go over here and make that a pink and then these two little pieces make that yellow and I chose this because it's going to be faster to to do and it really doesn't matter the colors just uh, just to show you how easy it is to color And I'm almost done here. There. That's fine. Same color. <laughs> okay. Now that I've colored all of these pieces, I just want to take my cursor and stretch it all the way around all these pieces. And I'm going to go down here to group them. Or you can right click and select your group. So now that they're grouped, I want to check my cut lines. And I'm just going to hop over here to my cut settings and I'm going to select cut edge 
there we go. Now we have a cut file already. And remember, you could always resize this by quite a bit. There you go. Just drag. I just like to drag the right lower corner and do this. And speaking of this, I know that there's some. I've gotten a couple of emails about this, so I wanted to go over this, and we'll get back to coloring in just a moment because I might forget. I'm going to open up this flourish file. Well, I don't know what's going on here. By the way, I am using a beta version of the software, so. Okay, a lot of times we get files and they either cover our whole page or whole draw area here or and they come grouped together. So when they come in like this, remember you can always resize them. And then you go over here and you can ungroup them. And then like these here, if you want to keep them grouped, just drag your cursor and then you can hit the group. And this one here has a couple little pieces too. And you can group those together. So now it gives you three separate pieces to work with. So I hope that's explained to those of you who have emailed me asking me about this and about resizing and ungrouping and everything else. And sometimes when they come in, they should be as a compound path, but they are released when you ungroup them. And well, anyway, this is the way you can go about doing that and it should make it really easy. I'm going to hop over here and show you another coloring page that I um, colored and set up. And right here, you can barely tell, but I'm going to zoom in. You can use the gradient tool as well. I just wanted a slightly different shade as it went in, so I used the gradient tool. And also, remember, if you ungroup these, you can always go back in and change that. And Oops, I used the pattern fill. Okay, no wonder it didn't. I was going, where did that gradient go? Anyway, you can always go back in and change your gradients and your colors and everything. I could select it this here. I can actually go in and just make it even lighter or dark. I can change the angle of it here. So even though you grouped them, all you have to do is go back and ungroup them to make them the angles that you want. So I put the white there on this side and more towards the top. I actually, I think I like that better. And then I just have to remember to go back in and group them so it keeps all my little pieces together. So there we go. And here's another one that I did. I'm Mickey and a Minnie. And I also put some on the Silhouette Plus web um, forum side that of some coloring pages I made, coloring and now cutting files. So take a look at some of those cutting files and remember you can do all kinds of things with them. One more little thing I'm going to show you because I uh, did do this. I even put a little pattern fill here on Mickey's scarf. Okay, well I hope this has shown you how you can use these coloring files and that you're able to get lots of nice fun cutting files to play around with. You all have a great day. I'll see you or chat with you real soon. Bye now.